हेलो एंड वेलकम अगेन टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन ग्नू खाता द ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर दैट ऑटोमेट्स अकाउंटिंग फॉर यू आई एम श्योर बाय नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ बिजनेसमैन ट्रेडर्स एंड सेवरल अदर पीपल हैव अंडरस्टूड द पावर एंड ईज विच ग्नू खाता बैलेंसेस इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल वी हैड सीन how we can easily generate invoices or bills this time we are going to build further on that so let's begin with seeing what we did last time we are going to look at the list of invoices here is a list of invoices for you we had created one purchase and one sales invoice it's the sales invoice which i would uh, open for you now well uh what i forgot to mention in the last tutorial is that we can also print these invoices so there's a print option here but more about that later uh what we are going to do now is to build up on this and do a few more extremely important activities there are times when you have to revise your invoice yes you guessed it right we are going to talk about credit notes and debit notes well as you all know a seller issues a credit note to his customer when the price is to be altered and lowered down so we'll take an invoice which we made last time as i said the sales invoice and let's say for example sake that since we had sold the desktop for 50000 there is a contention between the customer customer says that we had discussed about 48000 but your personal has invoiced me for 50000 so i will be telling him no worries sir we would uh, issue a credit note what 2000 rupees to you so let's do it we'll have to of course select the type of note this credit note as well as the type of invoice we are going to issue a credit note on the basis of sales invoice So let's go ahead and create this credit note for two thousand rupees and settle the contention with the customer and make him happy. There you go. We have saved the credit note. I am not going to discuss about debit note because I think it's pretty obvious that it's exactly vice versa and the interface is also the same. We can actually view and print the credit note or the debit note as well. So we can just view it and you can also print the credit note to send it across to your customer. Now I have been talking about how GNU Khata automates your accounting. We have obviously seen that uh, when you set up the company, it creates your ledgers or account heads, as they are called, and how they got utilized when we were making the invoices. For example, uh, when you create a customer, its account is created. You have seen the chart of accounts. But obviously, the question is that uh, how are the transactions automated? So, I like to show you a pretty magic in GNU Khata. uh what i'm going to do now is going to take you to the find and edit voucher interface this is similar to uh, what you call as day book in tally you can just you know select the date range or uh, there are other parameters you can select and then list the vouchers the transactions which your auditor loves to see file file in the returns and here is a surprise you know what all the transactions are recorded here when you made the invoice the corresponding transactions now you have made the credit note uh, the transactions for that as well you did not do a single accounting entry and yet without any accounting knowledge you just made your invoices and you did your receipts and payments you can look at the last tutorials and without you doing any transactions all your vouchers your transactions are recorded by gnu khata automatically you can just simply export this to spreadsheet and send it across to your auditor obviously 
I have also mentioned and shown you in the last tutorial, you have the sales and purchase registers which also get created. So this is the power of this software. Uh, the obvious question which accountants and auditors might ask is, well, what about us? What if we want to make manual voucher entries, the transactions, contra, journal, all those stuff? What about us? How do we do that? Well, friends, that's exactly what I am going to show you in the next tutorial. Until then, this is Krishnakant Mani signing off. Goodbye and happy accounting.